benchmark and I'll show you the temperatures afterwards um, so you can see it's still a good temperature um, the side fan the side fan does keep it cooler may keep the graphics card cooler maybe two degrees maximum maybe one degrees sometimes not even anything um, it's just nice to have I like my little fan just alternate this pattern Um, this is my oldest setup of my computer. I'm new to water cooling. Um, I thought what I'll do, I'll set it up in my older computer, the one that I don't mind ruining. Um, so it's only running on a dual core at the moment with shitty little RAM, uh, DDR2 running at like 333 megahertz. Um, with my GTX, my 480. Yeah, I could still max out crisis. So, and some people have high end computers like i7, 16,000 megahertz RAM, and they can't even seem to max out fucking crisis. It's, it's pretty of a shame, really. Um, get in. There you go, you see the frames. I'll show you the frame rates afterwards. This is maxed out. And like I was saying, uh, and then the T-pipe in here, I've got another one here facing downwards for a reason. If I ever need to empty, wait, let, let me get my light again. Here. And that just has a screw as well. And you could just screw that with your hand. Of course I'm not going to. Um, and what I do if I'm emptying it, I'll just get that, put the computer on a table, um, get a bucket or something, something pretty big. Years. Yeah, and they just unscrew it, put the bucket on the um, floor, unscrew it, and bang, it all empties. Just every now and then, just sort of pick the computer up and just turn a little bit every now and then, and it empties. And no need to cut the pipe in. No need to unscrew things, unscrew this, unscrew that, yada yada yada, um, and so on and so forth. You, you see what I'm saying? Um, I see people, and they don't, they don't really know how to un, um, empty their water cooling. So they'll cut, let's say here, and quick, 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 and you've probably wasted some liquid. And now you've wasted a little bit of tubing because it would probably be jagged, so you'll need to cut it smooth again. You should never cut water cooling sort of like that, the tubing. Never want it diagonal, you want it as straight as possible. You see what I'm saying? Um, so you get a better fit. Um, what else? So, yeah, you, you save tubing, you save liquid, you save time and hassle put one outside the case or even if everything's internal you could probably I don't know if on most cases now you've got these holes here you could probably have uh, I'll see people have their reservoir at the top I mean their radiator at the top you have maybe like a tube come down go in come out T connector with a little uh, plug and then go back in to your graphics card or uh, yeah, to your graphics card, come out and to where it wants to go. So anyone can do it, really. Um, they're very easy to connect as well. Just plug.
plug it in and just screw on tight. No need for clamps or anything because it works as a clamp. It's really hard to get on. It's really, really good. There's no way that tube's coming out. Absolutely no way. I don't have a clamp here. There's no need. So much pressure on that tube at the moment. There's no need for a clamp at all. Um, same as on the inside. I've put clamps on as many things as I possibly can, but some things just don't need it. You know, clamps just to be sure it's all safe, but it doesn't really need it at all. Okay, so this is maxed out on a dual core, 65 nm, at 2.4 gigahertz. Intel Core 2, 6600, E6600, 2.4 gigahertz, not overclocked. 2 gigs of RAM, 32 bit OS. Um, 1st one I got average 23 frames a second I don't know if you can see it or not 23 frames 0.34 frames a second um, min frame max 33 frames 2nd um, one 29.11 frames average max 33.85 third run average 29.45 max 34 fourth run 29.69 average I mean max 35 frames and there you go so that's crisis maxed out and my graphics card hit 33 degrees maximum memory 1900 but I've got it on this skin I like this skin but of course some people will probably recognize this one instead but there you go but other people with a 480 processor clock 1504 memory clock 1900 and fan there is no fan but yeah we think um and I'm pretty new to water cooling it's my first ever proper setup of water cooling and I've done fine and I thought I'll just let people know how easy it is and how to empty it how to fill it up but um with this one With this reservoir, there was a bit of problem with um, my case here. Let me get my light. It wouldn't fit in my case properly, um, but you have like little shelves, for, like CD drives and everything um, that blocks the reservoir from getting in. Um, so what I done, I totally destroyed it here. I put a screwdriver in because I don't have any power tools to cut it off. Um, so I put a screwdriver in, I just bang, just dented it, just carried on, just denting, um, until the reservoir went in. But, if you're going to do that, do not get the acrylic, acry I can't say the word, um, reservoir, because they're prone to cracking and snapping and all that, and if you're going to do something like this, um, when you pull it in, it will scratch the reservoir because it's a trial and fail thing. Just pull it in, doesn't fit, okay, dent it a little bit more, so on and so forth, um, until eventually it goes in. Um, I think it looks pretty nice if you have dye in there, but dye will eat your plastic. 
you will eat your plastic. Um, so always get clear liquid. And I think that's everything I can say. Um, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed it. That's it.